Good afternoon, sports fans. This is RW Vision. Today, I have my boy Baby Yoda with me. I feel like I'm a Mandalorian, guys. I feel like I'm protecting Baby Yoda like I'm Mandalorian right now. Baby Yoda is going with me to New Orleans today. Um, I just want to tell to you guys about the New Orleans. Um, well, I'm sorry. I just want to talk to y'all about the Ole Miss Rebels, okay? The Ole Miss Rebels, all right? Um... For you fans out there that are Ole Miss fans, thank God that Matt Lute is gone, right? You guys got Lane Kiffin as coach. And at Ole Miss, he is 15-8 uh, and eight as the head coach. Um, last year, you guys had your third 10-game win uh, since 2003. Uh, 10 games is, you know, you almost had 11 games. Uh, you almost won 11 games last year if you would have beat Baylor. But... You know, it didn't happen. And that would have been your first 11 um, game win season ever in school history. With that being said, thank God, thank goodness that Lane Kiffin is helping this program out. Uh, Matt Lute was the coach before uh, Lane Kiffin, and before him they had Hugh Freeze. Now, Hugh Freeze was a pretty good coach, but, you know, I think Ole Miss was in some trouble, and so he had to be fired. So he's gone now. Uh, last year, Ole Miss did go ten and three. They went six and two in the SEC. They beat um, Louisville, Austin Pay. They beat Tulane. Uh, they beat Arkansas. That's a big win. They beat Tennessee, a big win. They beat LSU, a big win. Uh, they beat. Uh, they lost to Auburn. Sorry, they lost to Auburn. They beat Liberty. They beat Texas A&M. That is a huge win. They beat Vanderbilt, of course. They beat Mississippi State. That's a big win. And they lost to Baylor in the. Um, in the uh, bowl game. Um, so this year, Ole Miss is looking to do better than they did. Now, on the schedule, guys, the first six games, um, they play Troy, Central Arkansas, Georgia Tech, Tulane, I'm sorry, not Tulane, Tulsa, and um, Kentucky and Vanderbilt, the first six games of the year. Now, the last six games is going to be very brutal. Okay, you got Auburn, you got LSU, you got Texas a you got Alabama, Arkansas, and on Thanksgiving Day, you have Mississippi State. So, Ole Miss schedule is very, very difficult the last six games of the year. It is going to be very difficult for Ole Miss uh, with 11 starters gone now. They lost 11 starters last year, okay? Their best suit is... You know, hopefully this quarterback from USC, Jackson Dart, throw a lot of darts to this wide receiver named Jonathan Mingo. Jonathan Mingo will be their best wide receiver. Uh, they also, um, they had a pretty good recruiting class this year, but their strength will be as far as the transfer portal. They got a lot of guys from the transfer portal at Ole Miss this year. Uh, this name is going to be, you know, this name will be talked about a lot at Ole Miss. His name is Zach Evans. He's a transfer from TCU running back. Uh, he's a he's a really good running back at TCU, and he will help. He's a running back that can catch out the backfield and can run between the tackles, kind of like what Ole Miss usually like at running back. So Ole Miss does have depth at running back, okay? They also got Ulysses Bentley. Uh, he's a good running back. Who else do they have? Um, at quarterback, Jackson Dart. The backup quarterback is Luke Altmaier, okay? He's a four-star quarterback. He's a very good quarterback, okay? So... Um, if Jackson Dart doesn't play well, Luke will be there to play. I mean, Luke is a pretty good quarterback. Uh, he was one of the highest rated quarterbacks in high school last year. So he will be here. Uh, not last year, but the year before last year. He was one of the highest rated quarterback last year. Okay, when he came in as a freshman. Um, so we, let's get into the schedule, guys. I really want to talk about Ole Miss schedule. But before uh, I do that, I definitely want to talk about some key rebels. Uh, you got Jonathan Mingo, of course. Uh, you got Cedric Johnson, the defensive end. You got A.J. Finley, the safety. Uh, all these guys are very good, okay? They lost guys like Matt Carroll went to the NFL. They lost um, Jerrion Ely and Snoop Connor at running back. They also lost Chance Campbell at linebacker. So, they, like I said, they lost 11 guys now. They lost 11 starters. If you was to put 11 new guys out there, I mean, this it's, it, that would be good. Man, if you come out with 10 wins the same year you lost 11 starters, that's a that's good coaching, okay? But you are taking a big gamble with all these new starters out there from the transfer portal. And you're also doing a big gamble with this quarterback from USC, Jackson Dart. At USC, I mean, he only played six games in 2021. He, he had 1,300 yards uh, and nine touchdowns and five interceptions, okay? That's what he did at USC. And now this is a big competition here in the SEC, okay? So... Uh, we'll see what he can do. Um, 
I want to go over some more guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, you got guys like uh, uh, Dennis Dennis John, Dennis Jackson. He's a wide receiver. You got Jordan Watkins. He's a wide receiver. Uh, you got offensive tackle Jeremy James. Uh, left guard Nick Booker. Uh, the center Caleb Warren. Uh, right guard Eli Acker. And right tackle Mason Brooks and tight end Casey Kelly. Okay, uh, Ole Miss does use a tight end every now and then. Uh, I think uh, that was a pretty good tight end that came out of Ole Miss a few years ago. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, now, as far as offense, guys, check this out. Nationally, Ole Miss had the sixth best uh, scoring, well, sixth best offense in the college football. They averaged 492 yards every game, okay? So Ole Miss have a good offense. And one thing about Lane Kiffin, Lane Kiffin is one of the best offensive minds in the all of college football. Outside of guys like um, Lincoln Riley, um, the, the weight forward is head coach. He's a good offensive mind. Um, uh, who else I'm missing? Oh, Ryan Day from Ohio State. Okay, those are pretty good offensive minds. Okay, so, but Lane Kiffin is up there. I mean, he is a pretty good coach now. Uh, so, they also got a new defensive coordinator at uh, Ole Miss. So, he will be trying to keep this defense pretty good. As far as the defense, our guys, um, their strength will probably be in the secondary. Um, I think that at uh, – their safety, A.J. Finley, would be a all-SEC caliber type of safety. Um, defensive end, Cedric Johnson is there. I already named him. You got K.D. Hill. You got uh, Tavares Robinson. You got Kyrie Coleman, Troy Brown. At the linebacker position, at corner, you got DeAndre Price. You got Miles Battle. You got, uh, let's see who is this. You got Tasheen Johnson, Otis Reese. And you got Sheen Young and AJ Finley. Uh, shout out to my boy, uh, Jamon. Shout out to Jamon Gordon, uh, Meridian High, Meridian, Mississippi. Stand out at defensive end for Ole Miss. Okay, so shout out to him. Now let's get into the schedule, guys. So we already know that Ole Miss went 10 and 3, okay? So here we are. I'm going to put an A off of wins and a W. I'm sorry, I'm going to put an A off of losses <laughs> and a W for wins, okay? All right, so tomorrow Ole Miss played Troy University, okay? Troy University, um, they had a few NFL players to go in the league, but are they as talented as Ole Miss? No, I do not think so. Uh, and this is also a home game for Ole Miss. I will give Ole Miss the benefit of the doubt by saying they will win this game, okay? Me being a state fan, I would try to be fair for you guys, okay? I would try to be fair. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see a W against Troy. Okay, good. Now, let's see against Central Arkansas. Is Central Arkansas is talented at Ole Miss? Ask yourself that. Baby Yoda, is Central Arkansas is talented at Ole Miss? No. Ole Miss should definitely win this game. Like I told you guys when, the, when this video first began, this schedule, the first six games should be pretty easy for Ole Miss. The last six are going to be extremely hard, okay? So this is a W for Ole Miss, okay? Now, at Georgia Tech. Now, this is an away game, but this is one of the worst power five teams in all of college football. Georgia Tech... Um, they are in, their head coach is in the hot seat, okay? Uh, so they're not beating Ole Miss, okay? That offense for Ole Miss will be rolling all over this Georgia Tech defense. So I'm going to put a win for Ole Miss. Now, September 24th, you guys play Tulsa, okay? Tulsa can be very sneaky team now. I remember Tulsa was ranked pretty high a few years ago, and they are a pretty good bowl team. So, um, but you guys have them at home. I expect that Lane Kiffin will have you guys prepare for this game. I expect you guys to win this game. Now, this game on October 1st, this is going to be the hardest game so far of the year versus Kentucky Wildcats. Guys, Will Levis is getting a lot of hype. There are quite a few quarterbacks in the SEC that get so much hype right now. You got Will Levis and you got Hendon Hooker from Tennessee. Those quarterbacks are getting so much hype right now. I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, they are pretty good, but are they all world? No, I don't think they're all world. They're not on CJ Stroud level or Bryce Bryce um, Bryce Young level with Alabama. <laughs> but okay, I got. I'm gonna give you guys the benefit of the doubt against Kentucky. Okay, you guys are at home, and I think you guys win this game. 
I think you guys be right, right pretty high so far. You guys are five and zero oh before you guys play Vandy. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. I know it's against Hawaii. I know it's against Hawaii. Me and Baby Yoda saw that t- team play. Vanderbilt playing Hawaii at Hawaii. I know Hawaii was not very good, but Vanderbilt executed very well. Okay, do not sleep on Vanderbilt. I mean, I can see Vanderbilt upsetting one of the SEC teams like Missouri or South Carolina, someone this year. Okay, so, but are they going to beat Ole Miss this year? I, I don't think so. I don't think they will beat Ole Miss this year. So I'm going to put a win. I'm going to give you guys another benefit of the doubt. I'm going to put a win. So you guys are six and zero guys before you play um, Auburn. Okay, now this game is is in Oxford. Okay. This game will be a highly anticipated game. You got the Ole Miss offense versus Auburn defense. Auburn usually always have a pretty good defense. But Lane Kiffin had Ole Miss's ranked number six in total yards per game last year in the whole college football. And and Jackson Dart can throw now. He can't throw. If he throw darts on Auburn, I can see them beating Auburn. Now, do I see Auburn? Can I see Auburn beating Ole Miss? Yes, I can. Uh, like I said, these last six games are very tricky games. This is the hard part of the schedule. Do I think you guys will beat Auburn? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think you guys will beat Auburn because it's a home game for you guys. And I think that Auburn lost a lot last year. So, well, this year they lost a lot. So, I think that you guys will beat Auburn. Now, at LSU, okay, this is one of the toughest places to play in all college football. Guys, Ole Miss fans, I'm sorry. You guys went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and oh before your first loss of the season. Guys, the schedule is not going to get any easier for you guys. It's going to get harder and harder. You guys will not beat Ole Miss at well, I can see you guys beating Ole Miss, though. I can. But this is so hard to play in, Ole Miss, uh, in LSU. In LSU, it's very difficult to play. And, and it's a, if this is a night game, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord? This is going to be tough for you guys. Okay? But anyway, I got an L. If you saw my, my LSU video, check out my LSU video. I have LSU winning this game anyway. So, shout out to those uh, Tiger fans, those baby kittens. Oh, also, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and smash that uh, like button because um, that would help me and that would help you because I'm trying to help you guys to let you know who will win, who will lose in the SEC this year. Also, I have several videos. You can check out my playlist. I have videos on Ohio State. I have videos on Clemson, North Carolina State, LSU, Florida State. Florida Gators, the Pac-12, the Big 12. I have plenty of videos on college football teams and predictions, okay? So check that playlist out, okay? All you got to do is go to my page, go to my channel, and click playlist, and you can see all of the the schedules that I have so far, okay? Now the next game is versus Texas and them at Aggieland. You got 105,000 soldiers, want to be soldiers, want to be cadets, cheering for this team that is highly anticipated, highly hyped up. Okay? They are going to be so hyped for this game. Um, Ole Miss is looking to bounce back, but I think that Texas and them will be too talented for you guys, man. Texas and them, in my opinion, will probably be the third best team out in the SEC. There's a guy on ESPN. I forgot his name, but he had Kentucky as the third best team in the SEC. I felt that was ridiculous. Kentucky lost a lot, man. That running back and that receiver core is not going to be the same, okay? Now, will they be pretty good this year? Yes, Kentucky will. But I think a and will be better, okay? a and was a good team, guys. The quarterback, they might have didn't know their quarterback at the beginning of the year, but guess what? I bet you they do now. That's because they got two great quarterbacks and a, great, a better defense and better offense this year at a and when you buy, When you guys beat a and no, you would not. So I'm going to put an L there for you guys against a and now, everybody knows what's about to happen. I mean, you know it. Your mom know it. Your old Miss fan know it. I know it. Baby Yoda knows it. You guys playing Alabama. I don't care if it's at home. I don't care if it's in Virginia. I don't care if it's in Tokyo. I don't care if it's in Paris. I don't care if it's in Madrid, Spain. You guys are not beating Alabama. One thing about Nick Saban, the year after he lose the national championship game, he come back and destroy people, Okay. 
He come back and destroy people. Will Ole Miss beat Alabama? You guys beat Alabama in 2014, 2015. That was the last time you guys was a, had a winning season was 2015. That was the last time Ole Miss had a winning season. Do you I think you guys will beat Alabama this year? No, I do not. Okay? So I'm going to put an L there for you guys. Okay? All right. Now, November the 11th and November 24th will be two tough games. Like I told you, this schedule is going to be harder. It starts off pretty good, pretty easy for Ole Miss, but it gets harder, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you guys play Arkansas at Arkansas. Come on now. Arkansas is a tough place to play, okay? And they got one of the best wire, uh, quarterbacks in all of college football in KJ Jefferson. Well, SEC. KJ Jefferson is going to lift Arkansas up on his back again, and they're going to beat Ole Miss because I don't think Ole Miss front seven will be able to contain with Arkansas front front guys. You know, I think Arkansas will control the line of scrimmage. Arkansas always had these big, big beef up uh, offensive line, defensive line since I've been watching college football. They they usually are pretty good. That's why they almost beat Bama last year because the, the coach at Arkansas know how to recruit those big boys, man. So, but anyway, like I said, I got Arkansas winning this game. That's an L for you guys. So, you guys are on a four-game losing streak. And guess what? You guys play Hell State. Do I think you guys have beaten us three years in a row, even though you guys are on a two-year winning streak? No, I do not. Now, you guys was on a three-year losing streak versus us, 2009, 2010, and 2011. Do I think you guys going to do what we did win three years in a row? Um, Mike Leach's third season, and we all know what Mike Leach does from the history of when he's a head coach. When he was his third season at Texas Tech, he had them in the Cotton Bowl. He had them nationally ranked. Uh, Mike Leach's third season at Washington State, he had Washington State ranked in the top 25. Washington State, out of all schools, Washington State is never ranked before Mike Leach got there, man. So do I think you guys will beat Mike Leach th three years in a row? No, I do not. You guys are going to be on a five-game losing streak, and I got you guys going 75. You can th say I'm a hater all I want, but I gave you guys that Kentucky game. If I was a hater, I wouldn't have gave you that Kentucky game. I wouldn't have gave you that Auburn game. No, I wouldn't have gave it to you. Okay? So, I got you guys going 75, winning your bowl game. That's an 8-5 and five season, okay? So, I mean, that's pretty good. You guys lost 10, 11 starters. Okay, you guys lost 11 starters. So, you guys got to regroup. Is Jackson Dart going to be like a Heisman candidate? Um, no. They say Jackson Dart is a 60-1 to 1 Heisman candidate, okay? They got Luke Alamar, a 200-1 Heisman candidate. They got Zach Evans, a 30-1 to 1 Heisman candidate. 300-1. Okay, you got Jackson Dart, 60-1. to 1. You got Luke Altmaier, 200-1. And you got Zach Evans, 300-1 Heisman candidate. Do I think you guys have a Heisman candidate on your team? No, I do not. I think Will Rogers is better than this quarterback, okay? And so, I think that State, they have a 10, I think they have 11 starters coming back at Mississippi State or 10 starters coming back at Mississippi State, and you guys lost 11 starters, and we got the better quarterback at Mississippi State. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, man. Was I right about this schedule? Was I wrong? What game was I wrong about, okay? Ole Miss fans, I, I, I appreciate it that you guys paid attention and listened to me. Um... If if you like to, I, I appreciate if you do troll me. I want you to troll me. Put that in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, okay? Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day. And my Mississippi State schedule will be coming very soon, okay? So uh, tune in on that Mississippi State schedule. And that might be my last schedule prediction uh, for this year in college football. Um, I'm probably not going to do an Alabama schedule because everybody pretty much know what's going to happen with Alabama. Do I think they're going undefeated? Uh, it's hard to say that Alabama will go undefeated. Um, they can go undefeated in SEC, but I'm not sure. Uh, I know they will be good on defense. They'll be better on defense than last year, of course. Um, Georgia, do I, do I want to do a Georgia schedule? I probably won't do a Georgia schedule. Now, I will do some pr game predictions on Georgia. Um, Georgia would not go undefeated, okay? Uh, I can see them losing maybe two games in the SEC, okay, before they even play in the um, bowl game, okay? Um, do I want to do a Kentucky schedule? No, I do not. Kentucky, I don't care about Kentucky, don't care about Georgia. Now, Alabama, I kind of want to go over that, but I already know what's going to happen. I already know they're going to probably win the SEC. Um, 
is no use for Alabama. Nick Saban is mad. He's angry. He's going to try to dominate. Now, a and my top three teams in the SEC would probably be Alabama, Georgia, and a okay? Now, I can't see somebody sneaking up, okay, like Tennessee. Uh, shoot. Uh, Mississippi State is going to be pretty good. With all those starters coming back, we're not going to be trash, okay? So, State fans, Watch this video because I'm representing for us, baby. I'm representing, okay? I don't represent for us. Me and Baby Yoda in here together, baby. Like I said, um, oh, also, one last thing. Be sure to watch the games tonight. Uh, there are going to be two very good games tonight. You got uh, TCU and you have Colorado and you have Illinois and Indiana. Those are going to be two good games. Be sure to tune in on those games, okay? Thank y'all, y'all. Have a good day, all right?